November 1st, November 7th for the Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right? If this is your first time joining me, welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can keep track as to when I'm uploading more videos. All right? So let's get into this weekly read for the Earth Signs and see what's going on with y'all. What's going on with Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? All right, I heard obsolete. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, obsolete. Obsolete. So I feel like a lot of you guys are stumbling upon yourself or will be stumbling upon yourself. You're not able to make a decision um, in regards to a connection that you're trying to get away from. Uh, it feels like you are, this is going to be your last go around with cleaning up their mess because every time they get in trouble, you always have to come and be uh, the helping hand or be the rescuer from the things that they place themselves in, all right? You are observing from afar with this energy or this connection. You're realizing that they're not who they say they are, okay? Um, this was not faded, okay? Or meaning this was not a soulmate connection. This was a person that was coming yeah. in to teach you a lesson, all right? Um, Spirit is asking for you not to regenerate or not to recultivate a relationship or connection with them because they have been very, very, very toxic towards you, okay? Some of you guys are starting to turn to a higher power, whoever that is, um, a Buddha, Jesus, God, universe, your inner being, inner self, whoever it is that you pray to, you're starting to reach out to receive answers, okay? So it's like some of you guys are starting to step into your spiritual path um, after this breakup is uh, has, has transitioned and like completely dead all right now when you move forward from this connection you're going to feel like a brand new person you want to feel like you have a new chance in life you're going to feel very poised and if you look at her if you look at her and she looks very lightweighted and and, and free-spirited and, and light-hearted not light-weighted light-hearted <laughs> light-hearted okay again this is not a soulmate this is more so a karmic a uh, connection or karmic uh, lesson that you had to learn from that spirit is asking for you not to continue this do not go the distance with them because like i said they're not who they say they are and there's just a lot of toxicity around them but you you're very loyal and spirit is asking for you not to change who you are because you went through that particular situation okay that happened with that one person just because that happened with that particular person in the past doesn't mean that it's going to happen in the future so learn how to establish more boundaries all right it's time to take a rest but you don't want to take a rest because you're all about your money right now and spirit is asking for you to make sure you take some time out, um, some some downtime, some me time for yourself, because that's highly needed. Take it. I'm hearing spa, so some of you guys may be reaching out or been wanting to go to a spa. Um, I'm hearing also uh, sand buggy and sand dune, sand buggy, sand buggy, sand dune. Um, so maybe trying to take a trip to some sort of um, a place that's like a desert. Could be like Las Vegas. Uh, maybe uh, Arizona, or it could be somewhere out of states or out of country. Okay, but I keep hearing sand, dune, sand, buggy. All right, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to to rein in your power and stop giving that away. Okay, for some of you guys, very small of you guys, somebody may find out that they're pregnant, co-create. Okay, um, on the flip side of it, somebody may be creating something new with uh, um. Forex and uh, uh, what do you call it? Forex and uh, like that digital uh, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. All right, so you're going to do really well with that. All right, um, now is the time for you to be by yourself to process the emotions and to heal yourself because uh, that's something that you haven't done in a very long time. It feels like you've been with this person for a very long time, and after or before you were with them. You were in a previous relationship and you just kind of left that one and just went directly into this one, not giving yourself time to heal. So because of that, some some moments and some days you don't feel free. You feel very tied down and very bogged down. 
okay? Now, right now, you your intuition may be slightly off a bit. Uh, you may feel very um, mind, like a, a mind fog, okay? So there's a deep knowing, a negative deep knowing, or there's a deep knowing that you're not privy to at this moment, but it's going to come to you um, in the week of November 1st to November 7th, okay? And it's going to add, you're going to ask a lot of questions, why did they do this to you? Okay, so it's like you're gonna over like you're going to have a an awakening, like maybe you're sleeping and you wake up overnight or in the morning and you just want to cut ties with them. You don't know why, but you just feel it deep in your soul, deep in your spirit, that that's what you need to do, and that'll be the right decision for you to do. Um, but when you do that, there's gonna be some unfinished sympathy or unfinished business when you do that because they're gonna to try to come back to you and try to figure out what what went wrong. All right, there's some moments where they try to push you to the edge, and this is in the negative or reverse, okay? So they have been pushing you to the edge with their foolishness, a lot of taunting, a lot of jeering, a lot of bullying, emotional manipulation, and things of that nature, okay? And you just want things to be fair, all right? And it will definitely be fair because once you disconnect from this individual, you're going to find peace. They're going to finally find peace. All right, so that's all I have for you guys for the week of November 1st and November 7th. Let me know, um, comment below if this has resonated with you in any way, shape, or form. And until next time, guys, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. See ya.